today go through there under the bridge we cross the bridge there's even more apparently on the other side oh in fact I can see some golden arches over there but yes we may or may not go that way um, but yes kind of other than that one little stop in Waterford this is gonna be our first town and we may even stay the night there's barge coming through here but the lock is actually right over there you can just see it um, the next lock we have to go through. So the locks close at five. So depending on how our days go, our day goes, we will either keep moving, get through the lock before five, or we'll hang out here for the evening and have a not so quiet evening because we've already there's there have been three trains that have gone by just in the last few minutes. But uh, we're under the bridge, but that's okay. Kind of getting used to the noise, I think. And Mike is just getting one last stroller because Josh seems to be intent on closing his eyes and walking. I hear church bells. There must be a church. Then. I'm sure there would be a church. You guys like this town so far? Yeah. Was it a good place to stop for lunch? Mm -hmm. You're still eating your lunch. Yeah. Benjamin, do you like it? <gasps> Hi! I ate nothing. You ate nothing, yes. For someone who complains she's hungry all the time, she didn't want the bread or the pizza. Another train? What? This is pretty busy here. I don't know what is going on, but this is like a definitely a very busy train area. A tumble. Yeah, you're right. It's a barge. I can never remember the name of this town, but there's a sign here. Kana Johari. Kana Johari. Kana Johari? Kana Johari. Anyway. Kana Johari. Anyway, this town. Kana Johari. With a beautiful carillon coming from this church. And we are headed into downtown to explore. Everybody's got their hats, their sunscreen. We are ready to go and Haley and I are going to buy hats today because we forgot our hats. So we need one. Look at this beautiful church. Isn't it wonderful? Ah, uh, sure. Let's cross. Well then let's go this way. Keep in the shade. That's my motto. So yes. We'll go that direction later. We're near the I-90. I'd like to look at a map because I actually don't have any real sense of where we are. I wonder what kind of factory this here factory was. Definitely looks closed down though. Hmm. Abandoned. Seed solar. Trees on the roof. Look at this church with solar on it. Nice. That's right. Right here on the Erie Canal. There's lots of solar actually. Good job. Ooh, and this is kind of nice, eh? But it says it's private property, this little fountain area here. R. Kell. Yeah, it's a very nice park you can visit. Sit under the shade of that tree. Yeah, I guess. 
you have to maybe go through them. Maybe it's part of this museum or something and you pay for it. I don't know. Yeah, see, that's the library and museum. Like a pretty dry fountain there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they said everything is within three blocks of this boat area, which is why we thought it would be a good spot to do some shopping. We actually don't have pillows right now. We have only two pillows on the boat. Uh, we threw out some pillows in Myrtle Beach and did not replace them. So that's one of our jobs. Yeah, this building here I think might be the uh, library and art gallery I was telling you about. Okay, so we made it through the little downtown area. Found the Village Green. Just a nice little stopping point here with some benches. We are reading the tourist information over here. And then checking out the rest of downtown, which has a Christmas store. That's perfect. And this amazing historic West Hill School, which looks pretty neat. Although it looks like it had maybe some damage from Irma. They're doing some repairs. So, yeah, this is a cool little town. It's a cool town. What do you think? I'd say top notch. Yeah, very nice little walkable town, very close to the dock. And there's a Christmas corner. Oh my. <laughs> the icing on the cake. <laughs> hey, uh, where are we? Christmas store ever. Okay. In the name of the town I can't remember. Well, this Christmas store. I was so ransacking the safety deposit box room with this crazy vault. It's a significant vault. To Riverfront Park. We've got our carts full of board games. We've got a hat for Haley, a hat for me, some clothing, through two thrift shops, a Christmas ornament. By the way, that Christmas store in Kana Johari is highly recommended. Very cool. Not just Christmas stuff. They even have like a man's den where the guys can sit, but obviously not when you have this many kids, so. What? Yeah, a nice picture for the Riverfront Park. Okay, time to go back to high five. The girls are taking out their little prizes. Which else to help you? I have two people with me. A dog and kitty cat. And a camera. Uh, can you open Jasmine's for her? What did you get, Jasmine? Fairies? Yes. You excited? Wow. You relax here in the shade of this park. You guys like this town or what? Yeah. I love this town. Yeah. Haley got some new shirts too. To go along with her little hat. This looks like the outfit that I have for pajamas, just not like with that part. You're right. What do you think? Very cool. So drink your water. There's a horse with the buggy. There's a horse and buggy at the uh, stoplight up here, which is pretty cool. About to go across. Careful, Haley. Going across. Don't see that every day. Anyway, we are at the top of this hill on the other side of the bridge. We have just encountered Big Lots and McDonald's because we needed pillows and hair ties and a few other essentials like water guns for a water gun fight. Right guys? Yeah. Right. Excited for a water gun fight? Yep. Cool. Well, water gun fight if somebody... We don't need to wear clothes. Well, I we might need to wear clothes, yes. I might need to wear clothes, yes. and spray her when she's not expecting You her. might. <laughs> That's a good idea. The, the 
Looks like the captain is very keen to get to the beverage depot over here. He is going as fast as he can. At the back of you, and then I will spray you on Ah, spray me? Well, anyway, we're going to make some fun in the shade with water when we get back because it is extremely hot. I think I have discovered why people do not take the Erie Canal in July. It's kind of like, if you want to boil and roast 50 degrees inside the boat. Anyway, I bought a chair. This is my big plan is to sit in a chair. And I also bought some new clips because we're having trouble. All of our uh, clips on the boat, like clothespins, keep breaking. Anyway, nice place. Now on to Stewart's shop. Well, we are back at the homestead here and Mike was right to park the boat by the bridge because we now have a lot of shade, which is so critical. Kids are playing on the swing. We had a bucket out to do a water fight with our newly purchased six pack of water guns. Got my new hat over there. And yeah, Mike is off socializing with all the other boats that have shown up since we arrived here, the first ones around noon. It is now full of boats. In fact, this dock is full and there's two more on the wall over there, so pretty nice. And it's a pleasant time of day, just relaxing. Kids are abusing the local uh, swing and just generally having fun. Okay, Jasmine's working on her project and we uh, went to... Where do we go today, guys? Anyone remember? <coughs> yes, the Arkell Museum, right? And, and the, the library. Artists. What? Mommy see the artist. Artists, that's right. I'm an artist. You are an artist, you're right. Yes, yeah, so the ga art gallery was actually a very significant collection Mommy. of artwork. Beep, beep, um, beep. And it is called the Mommy, Kenna Jahori Library and Art Gallery. It's actually down. called the Arkell Mommy. Gallery. Mommy. Just second, Josh. I'm not playing yet. I'm telling you something. 350 paintings by American artists in Winslow, Homer, oils, and watercolors. It is a significant collection, right? Yes. Yeah. And I thought it was quite fun. And they even, kids even made it to an art class this morning. You guys want to show me what you did? Go get your artwork. Go get it. And uh, we toured around. The kids had fun. Benjamin, and the library had an amazing kids area, right? It did. So we got an amazing kids area. Play kitchen and a huge train, wooden you like, train set. You like the train set? Yeah. I love the train set! You did? You love the train set? Good, yeah. So we basically spent the whole day at the library today in the Perhaps art gallery. It opens at 10 until they closed at 5. Exactly. We were there. Out. And then we went out for lunch, we went out for ice cream. Wow, what a nice piece of art. Jasmine, where's yours? Very nice. So they gave us paint made of shaving cream and glue as the artwork. Don't rub on it, Jasmine. Yeah, and Josh did one too. Josh, go find yours. No, his, is oh, drying. his is dry. Okay, his was a little thicker. Anyway, so that was a really fun day. We highly, highly, highly recommend that you stop at this awesome public dock in Kana Jahari. Go to the library. And, uh, okay, in just a second. And visit the gallery. And visit the gallery. It's well worth the $9 admission, I think it was. And Mommy. it was uh, a very great. Spot. Yeah, several pieces that I've, I've known and recognized. Josh, yeah, Josh, especially some of the uh, work. Winslow Kelly. Homer stuff that they had there, for sure. Yeah, Mommy. that's why I said maybe we should leave the artwork at the uh, Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> at the library. It's but anyway. All right, sounds like a great day, everybody. Mommy. Yes, right, Benji. A great day. Okay, we are saying goodbye to Kana Jahari where we've had two awesome nights and we were had a lovely surprise this morning as somebody dropped off some vegetables from their garden and ice for us, which is amazing. This is a guy named Chris and his family that Mike uh, was chatting with yesterday. Mm -hmm. So thanks, shout out to an awesome family here. Yeah. And, uh, and also special mention, go to our friends on these cool two Albin boats we've got to know. Yeah, uh, really fun from New Brunswick. So see you later guys, take care. Bye! <laughs> Bye! Alright, so let's get uh, packed up and get going, guys. Alright.